Since 1916, St. Nicholas has been a place of respite and welcoming. There are countless stories of immigrants who upon landing in Manhattan would go to the small Greek church to light a candle and thank God for their safe passage to the land of freedom and opportunity. As the Twin Towers rose behind her, St. Nicholas Church remained with her doors open, welcoming both parishioners and workers from the towers and surrounding businesses. On September 11th, 2001, it was not a Roman Catholic church that was destroyed at the World Trade Center. It was not a mosque or a temple or any other symbol of religious freedom and culture. It was St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church that was destroyed on 9-11. A church that was already legendary in the Greek community and New York City, having been formed by poor Greek immigrants in Lower Manhattan in 1916 now 105 years ago. Unlike every other aspect of the World Trade Center that since 2001 has been rebuilt with federal and New York State funds, only St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church did not receive funds to rebuild from the federal government or New York State. It was left to the Greek American community to raise the millions of dollars to rebuild and create the magnificent St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox National Shrine. Indeed, Governor Cuomo will not even refer to it by its rightful name. He calls it simply St. Nicholas National Shrine, leaving out Greek Orthodox every time. But the ultimate indignity, but the ultimate indignity from Governor Cuomo and the Port Authority is their refusal to allow two flagpoles to be erected outside St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox National Shrine. I hope others agree with me. This decision must be reversed. And on September 11, 2021, in just five months, that at the opening ceremony for St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox National Shrine at the World Trade Center. A large American and a large Greek flag will be raised side by side on two 55-foot flagpoles standing proudly right outside of the entrance to the St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox National Shrine. It will happen if we all refuse to accept this blatant example of cancel culture from Governor Cuomo and the Port Authority. Please watch this brief video and experience the glory of St. Nicholas and their hypocrisy. On March 25, 1821, the Greek Bishop Paleon Patron Germanos raises the flag of the revolution against the mighty Ottoman Empire. At the monastery of Agia Lavra near Calavrita, the heroic priest signals the beginning of revolt. Those present vow. Eleftheria e thanatos, freedom or death, is the war cry that reverberates all across occupied Greece. And in the On days March thereafter, as we assess the magnitude of the loss, I remember Archbishop Dimitrios and Father Alex and others came in, coming and saying, yes, we lost almost 3,000 lives. Yes, we lost the heart of our commerce but we also lost St. Nicholas Church. And I remember saying to them, do not worry. You have my word that when we rebuild Ground Zero, and we will, St. Nicholas Church will be a part of it. That's right, that's right. It, it was easy to say. It was harder to do. America. And an extremely influential and powerful, powerful Greek American community, and so many of you rose up and said, this is not going to happen. You're not going to rebuild without St. Nicholas. But without St. Nicholas, we did not have faith. Well, now today, we have remembrance, we have commerce, and we have that rock. We have that faith right here at St. Nicholas. And, and let me just say one more comment. How appropriate that that rock of faith is St. Nicholas. 
Because when I think of why we were attacked on September 11th, it wasn't because of anything we do wrong. It wasn't because of mistakes we made. It is because of what we do right as Americans. Our belief in freedom, freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, freedom to choose our own leaders, freedom to worship as we see fit. And where did those freedoms come from? The freedoms we hold so dear in America today had their origins in Greece in the democracies of the Greek city-states. It was the Greek city-states that gave, our belief, gave us our belief today in freedom. And it will now be the Greek Orthodox Church that is the rock of faith that anchors all that is done here at Ground Zero. To give thanks to the good and faithful parishioners and trustees of the St. Nicholas Parish who have prayed for this day to come to give thanks to the friends of St. Nicholas who have bridged the gap, kept the faith, and made all the difference. It is our duty and our responsibility as Orthodox Christians, but also our obligation and commitment to God and His people. It's our obligation, I said, to complete and open the doors of the St. Nicholas we begin to fulfill that promise to God, promise to St. Nicholas, to the parish, to our church, to the good people of the city of New York, to America, and to the whole world. We are going to open St. Nicholas Church and National Shrine and a sign of the ideals that exist in this great American nation where one's religious liberty and freedom of conscience never excludes, but only embraces. Kalamira to all who are here today. Good morning. Your Eminence, I cannot thank you enough on behalf of the people of the state of New York. We met, we talked about St. Nicholas and how important it was. And His Eminence said he would make it a priority to get it done, and we are here today, uh, not just blessing, but opening our hearts and opening our minds and feeling the spirit of love and faith that St. Nicholas will bring to this, actually embodied on this magnificent site, which is truly going to be a landmark in New York. Thank you for your generosity, for your philanthropy, for your citizenship to the Greek community. But the Lord works in strange ways. And that this should be happening now, I think is so powerful and so symbolic. <laughs> The block from its original location, the new St. Nicholas will stay true to its roots as both an Orthodox church with a full liturgical life as well as a place of prayer as more than just a parish. As an institution, it will belong to each of us. With its expanded mission, St. Nicholas will be a place of consolation, of education, of culture, and of growth. It will represent our beliefs as Americans that our freedom of religion is paramount. St. Nicholas National Shrine is not just for us, for you and for me. It is a national shrine belonging to our entire community. It belongs to future generations. In the years to come, our children and grandchildren will pass through the site But we also lost St. Nicholas Church. And I remember saying, do not worry. You have my word that when we rebuild Ground Zero, and we will, St. Nicholas Church will be a part of it. It was easy to say. It was harder to do. And an extremely influential and powerful, powerful Greek-American community, and so many of you rose up and said, this is not going to happen. You're not going to rebuild without St. Nicholas. We met, we talked about St. Nicholas and how important it was. And His Eminence said he would make it a priority 
to get it done, and we are here today, uh, not just blessing, but opening our hearts and opening our minds and feeling the spirit of love and faith that St. Nicholas will bring to the really embodied on this magnificent site, which is truly going to be a landmark in New York. Thank you for your generosity, for your philanthropy, for your citizenship to the Greek community. Κανόνα πίστεως και εικόνα πραωτητός Εγκρατείας διδασκαλών ανέδειξες την πίμνη σου Ή των πραγμάτων αληθεία and it will now be the Greek Orthodox Church that is the rock of faith that anchors all that is done here at Ground Zero. Your Eminence, I cannot thank you enough on behalf of the people of the state of New York.